Average household incomes have declined in South Africa since the beginning of the COVID-19 lockdown in March 2020. Joining me to discuss this trend is fellow analyst at the CRA, Gebran van Heerden. Gebran, could you give us a picture of the extent of these declines across various income categories? Hello, David. Um, yes, so the University of Cape Town's Liberty Institute released a report which compared um, household income levels of 2020 with those of 2017. Now, they, they basically divided the number of adults in South Africa into various categories based on the, the level of income of the household that they live in. So these categories include the ultra poor, survivors, skilled strugglers, um, lower middle class, uh, upper middle class, as well as the top end. And so one of the main findings from the report is that um, the two wealthiest income segments, that is um, the upper middle class and the top end categories, these have seen a, a decline of more than 50% since 2017. Um, during that same period between 2017 and 2020, uh, we've seen the category of ultra poor increase by more than 50%. So we've really seen South Africa um, uh, being impacted in both ways, a substantial rise in, in those who live in poverty and a substantial decline of wealthier households. So Gebrand, that's very interesting to observe that both the high income and the low income categories were so negatively affected. Could you give us an explanation for how this occurred? What were the causal factors that led to these reductions in income? Yes, so poorer households and wealthier households were affected in different ways by the pandemic and the lockdown. So um, a study done by the National Incomes Dynamic Study, or NIDS for short, they uh, showed that uh, it was mainly low to semi-skilled workers who were the most likely to be retrenched or furloughed. Their research further showed that it was basically those without university degree, those who work in the informal sector, and those who work as lab, uh, manual labor, who were the most likely to retrench. So job losses mainly impacted poorer households. On the other end of the spectrum, wealthier households were mainly uh, impacted by the equity market crash that we saw in March, which really uh, ate away um, at their uh, investments. Uh, also, um, FNB, uh, First National Bank, have seen um, or have noticed that many of their wealthier clients had to use their own pocket money uh, in order to keep their businesses open or afloat during this, uh, this pandemic, and especially uh, uh, wealthier uh, households who are in the hospitality and tourism industries because those were the most infected by the travel uh, uh, restrictions imposed by government. Um, also, um, uh, credit marketing company Experian uh, showed that it was mainly households who have exposure to secured lending products that were the most affected during lockdown. So in other words, those who are uh, uh, wealthy enough or who were able to afford um, home loans and vehicle loans. So Gerbrand, that's a rather distressing picture that you've just painted. How can policymakers and also decision makers in businesses go about taking steps to see a rise in income to pre-pandemic levels again? So the, the government is facing a major problem at the moment, and that is, is, uh, that is we're going to see a, a substantial rise in social grant beneficiaries. And at the same time, we've basically run out of money. Uh, the government doesn't have uh, resources at the moment to, to support an ever-growing number of social grant beneficiaries. So what we should rather do is implement reforms that will raise the average household income levels in the country. And, and that will require uh, implement, implementing uh, labor reforms uh, that will uh, price people back into jobs. Uh, uh, that will also uh, require implementing economic reforms that will raise the economic growth rate of the country because that correlates with a growth in job opportunities. 
We need to improve the quality of education that correlates with high uh, paying jobs. And then we also need to create an environment in which businesses can thrive. Well, thank you very much, Khabrant. That's all we have time for today. Uh, please do remember, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the link in the description below to our 30-day free trial. That's it from me, David Ansara. Until tomorrow at 7 a.m., take care.